Hello, I'm Fabio from the Youth Sport Trust and I'm a member of the Youth Sport Trust uh, Social Circle and I'm here with Hannah Cockcroft. Um, hi, I'm Hannah Cockcroft, uh, MBE, double Paralympic gold medalist, 24 time world record holder and uh, double world champion. And just generally quite awesome. <laughs> But um, Hannah, I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, especially about sports and science with you, it's like coming up really soon. So how are you feeling? It must be really different from being an audience starting and this year being nominated. Yeah, so I've been in the audience two years now and it's always a fantastic night, but I guess it's exciting to be nominated, definitely, because you're being named and recognised in the top ten sports people in Britain this year, and that's incredible, um, especially for a female Paralympian outside of Paralympic year. I'm pretty sure it's never happened before, so... It kind of makes you a trailblazer in your own way. Um, but, you know, I know it's going to be a fantastic night. I'm not going there because, you know, I'm not going there to win it. I'm going there just to have some fun and, and enjoy what has been another fantastic year. So, although I'm a little bit scared about, you know, being named alongside some of my own heroes like you see in a horror group, I'm, yeah, I'm excited about it. Yeah, so who else are you sort of looking forward to seeing in nominated other than Christine, like you mentioned? Yeah, Christine, you know, a massive, massive idol of mine. She's a lovely lady. Uh, Mo Farah, obviously, an incredible man. Everyone's uh, backing Andy Murray to win, um, although I've actually heard he won't be at the awards, so that could be interesting. Um, but, you know, it, it's always amazing who actually turns up on the night, so yeah. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I'll be David Becker, but we'll see. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's definitely a bonus. Um, so, how do you feel about being so close to your hometown? Because we'll be in Leeds this year. Yeah, Leeds, so it means I won't have to follow her driving and get down to London and laughing around with that. No, it's nice. It's nice that it's come to Yorkshire. 60th anniversary and it's coming home for me. So um, it's brilliant to kind of be nominated in the year that it is. It's so close to home. But it's just going to be really nice. It means I'm going to get a lot more local support um, and it's going to kind of bring a whole new light to the event. Because if one in Yorkshire is just so lovely. <laughs> and love Hannah, basically. Yeah, exactly. So I might win. <laughs> oh, definitely. We'll back you. Definitely. Um, so I know a lot of it is based on I know that people are probably thinking back to the final weeks, how you were going over there, but you've done like amazing since then, you had the anniversary games and all sorts. So, what's been your highlight other than the Paralympics? I guess my highlight, maybe Ricardo won the World Champion title this year. Because um, obviously, there was, there was a lot more pressure. So people start to know who I am now, so like, people were expecting me to do what I did in London again. And just to have that kind of expectation, it's, it's a little, it's scary, but it, it kind of brings this whole new kind of exhilaration and, and just so many different feelings with it that it makes you race so well and uh, no I, it was really really good to get everything that way I knew that there was a lot of pressure on I knew that the girls knew what I was going to do and um, and you know just being there to prove myself another year. Does that sort of like um, does that sort of stuff put you up a little bit knowing that everybody else will be looking at you this year because they know you've won it so many times before and they're look, sort of looking towards you and it's all they might be singling you out because they know that you're probably the one person to watch out for. I think, no, it doesn't put me off. It kind of motivates me more because I want to prove, I want to fulfill people's expectations of me and I want to prove that I'm as good as they think I am. Um, and that makes you go out there and train every day even though you know that the girls were quite a few minutes behind. So you kind of, I always want to be that comfortable distance ahead and, and win quite easy. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, we'll root for you, hopefully. Sports Plus has been your fingers crossed. Thank I you very much. Enjoy seeing you in. <laughs> so, thank you for chatting for today, and best of luck. No problem. Thank you. No worries. That's it. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't know what I'm going to do. This will work.